Yo, welcome back to the Wire One Podcast. And I am the most handsomest, sexiest, and dominant to ever grace God's green earth. I'm here, man. How's everybody feeling? How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. How you doing, Lexi? I'm doing good. So, uh, how's everybody enjoying their born so-so Monday? Typical work day for me. Yes. Typical work day. Doing a job I don't get paid for. Still been a teacher. So they gonna go back to school or not? No. Because I really feel like I need something that paycheck. I do too. I feel like you deserve it. I'm doing all this. Doing all the issues. I feel like all these parents that have to sit home with their kids and homeschool them when they, like, are missing out on work and shit deserve, like, like some kind of tax boost or some kind of check or something for it. I mean, because now I'm in the middle of answering questions I shouldn't be able to answer and talk about family conversations I shouldn't talk about. You know what my six-year-old son going to ask me today? What? He'll tell me he want a girlfriend. No, he didn't. Really? So you want a girlfriend now? So I gotta explain to him why he shouldn't have a girlfriend now. And guess what? To that, my three-year-old gonna say she want a girlfriend. Now I definitely gotta explain to her why, <laughs> why, why that even wrong for not not wrong. See, now I'm having to guess that, but now I gotta explain to her. I already know the face she made at you when you told wow. her too. Look at her. Look at me. Like... Yeah, it was. Wow, my kids is never a letdown when it comes to weird stuff. Weird. Weird. Here's another thing. Did everybody enjoy that little hailstorm the other day? That shit was scary. That's, I was about to be a tornado, I felt like it was. My kids kept wanting to go near the fucking windows. Oh, you, then, I, then we were in a building caught on fire from electrical fire. Do you remember the tornado drill we used to have to do in school? Go to the store. Now look, all way, you put your, your head, hands yeah. over your head and scale down. How do the kids like, still do that? They do. But let me tell you something. In a tornado, what the fuck is that going to do? It's supposed to protect your neck. Because you're, 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 you're on the inner wall. Yeah. I know. But it's, even but it's, still, it's supposed to protect your neck if you want. Um, if something falls on you. Yeah. But even still, it's like, oh, so great, now your hands are pinned behind your head? Yeah. Does anybody think of that? No, they probably thought about it, but that's worst case scenario. Especially a kid? That's worst case scenario. No, that's most likely the scenario. Yeah, because most case scenario is they not expecting the tornado to actually rip the building up. Yeah, the unless, we, unless we unless we internet live in Tornado Valley, then you're fucked. Because they build schools before five. Like unless that, you live so. in Tornado Valley, you're fucked. If you live anywhere in the United States where they get a lot of tornadoes, like you're dumb as fuck. You're asking for it. Like I live in a perfect state. We don't get earthquakes. We don't get hurricanes. We don't get tornadoes, we don't get landslides, we don't get wildfires, we don't get any of that shit. The worst weather we gotta worry about is blizzards. That's it. Pretty much. Pretty much. It sucks. But for the last five or seven years, our winters have not been really that bad. They really haven't. They were a lot milder. I feel like we got way more snow when we were kids. Uh-huh. Or is that just because we were kids and we, we paid attention to it? But I, I pay attention to it now as an adult, and we got way more snow when I was a kid. Period. And then, back to my Sunday, couldn't get the Hulu to work, so I couldn't even watch football. I had to listen to the Browns game. Listen to the Browns game on the radio, like it's 1985. Browns did win though. I was good shit. 10 7. Let's go. Browns were 6 and 3. We should be 7 and we should be 7 and 2. But it doesn't matter. It. We still going to the playoffs. Aren't we guaranteed now, basically? No. Oh, no. No, not yet. Nothing is guaranteed. To the part to the Browns did get the 12 and 12. And if the Browns record, if the, Browns, if the Browns record is like 12 and 3 or 11 and 3, they're pretty much, pretty much guaranteed to be in the playoffs. But who they had to. They game? had to be over ten. They had to be over ten games for real, because the AOC is going to be, a, going to be a lot of winning teams in the AOC. For I real. know. Um, who? Uh, Philly. Got Philly. Philly. Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. That's who's next. That's what do you think? How do you feel about that game? Oh, we're gonna win. How's I feel? How's I feel? I feel like we're gonna win. 
And then what's the record? I'm like two and seven. I don't oh, okay. Know. I, don't know. I really don't know. I'm not true. saying we're. I guarantee we're gonna win, but I feel like we win that one too. Yeah, they're trash. So if we win next week, we'll be seven and three. Yeah. No, seven and four. No, seven, seven and three. three. Oh yeah, seven one. Seven. Ladder, please. Yeah. We'll be seven and three. So that's it. That's good. That's still good, even though Baker is not playing like the quarterback that we all want him to play like. But at the end of the day, we're winning, so what it is, is what is. Deal, it is what is. If you don't, got, if you don't got to throw the ball and throw over like 300 yards a game and average that, and you still win, then oh well. You know what? I maybe mean, people. You know what? Maybe you hit on something. Maybe people should stop looking at Baker Mayfield that way. Yeah. I mean, because we think about it when we when he had to do because it. Because he's got the wildest record, even though he has low. And when he had. And whatnot, he, remember those stats we looked at? He's in the top 10 for pass touchdowns and pass completions. And when he had to do it, he did it. When um, Odell went down and really came out to a shootout game, he did it. So. So what matters more? How many times he throws it and yards he gets or, or the how many winning. times it was caught and how many times it scored or is it just matter it's just matter that we winning yeah period that's what it, that's what also and we're winning out. under baker mayfield so at the end of the day we're still fucking winning under him yeah he's still a winning quarterback yeah he wanted to quit being so fucking hard on him yeah he's he's a good quarterback i have confidence in baker mayfield we won't the, the thing is most fans won't flash but he ain't flashing he get this, he getting the job done. You can't say nothing. Of, you cannot say nothing too wrong about Baker that. Baker Mayfield is a true football player. He's walked onto every single team he's basically ever played on. He's like a homegrown football player from Oklahoma. So he's not like um. Who's that? Who's that one quarterback that always is wearing like that got into wearing jewelry on the field or something? What was his name? Um, Joe Manton. No, Joe. Um, no, Joe. Joe Nankton. No, no, not Joe Nankton. No, I think it might be Joe Nankton. He was a Jets quarterback. I might be saying his name wrong. It was somebody, but like, he, it was a he, he's something. not like that. Yeah. At he's all. And that's what the Browns need. We're not a flashy ass team. But I came across this article today. Mm-hmm. It's like pretty sad. Cleveland had 19 homicides in 13 days, including a, a murder of an 80 year old woman. Holy fuck. It's like sad. That one, that one on a downturn real quick. The murder of an elderly You said 19 in three days? 13 days. 19 in 13 days. Yeah. The murder of an elderly woman is one of the latest homicides on a violent man in the city. According to Queen Police, Kyle Huffman County Medical Examiner, there has been 19 homicides in Cleveland since November 13th. Katie Brown, 83rd. I mean, I'm, I'm saying Katie Brown, 83, was found shot to death and sat at her home in the 900 block area of Minor Avenue around 9.50 a.m. on November 14th. Family members called the police because their mom was not answering the phone when the police arrived. Brown's son was already there and found his mom dead of multiple gunshots when police said theirs was, there was also multiple bullet holes in her home. According to police on the, uh, according to police on the evening of November 13th, there were several calls to 911 for shots fired in that area. Wow. If anybody know any information, anybody have any information, please call the Cleveland Police at 216-623-5464. Please call the police. Please call the police, because that's pretty that's pretty sad. She's 83 years old. Her right? own son found her. And, you, and, and she's 83, which means her son is probably old, man. Like, fuck, man. You know, the fact that mother's ready with bullet holes. And an old woman. Who the fuck shoots an old lady? It's not like if, like, it don't even really matter if you're real or not. Why would you? Why? Why? That's, pro- that's probably exactly what it is. It's a fucking robbery. But you're still going to rob an 80 year old Or. 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 What? Insurance money. No. Wait, what the fuck? Make it look like a robbery. No, dude. You want to kill your mama. Do you know how many, do you know how many fucking. No, 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 you know how many no. cape times I've seen that? No, I've seen it too, but I don't want to go. I, I don't want to think about I'm that. Not, I'm not even going to entertain that idea. But I know what the police are going to do. Since their son found her, they're gonna look at him as the first suspect. No, they not. Yes, they are. No, they, no, they probably already cleared them already. That was on the fourteenth. They, they probably cleared them already. Yeah. They don't know if, if they don't have no real reason to necessarily suspect him as the murder, then there's no real reason. At we all. live in like oh, we live in a fucked up city. 
Live in a fucked up world. I wish there I wish all these shootings to stop stop. stop. Get all these um guns off the street. A lot there's a lot of people carrying guns that don't need guns. There's a lot of people that are dying that have nothing to do with any type of violence in their life at all. Right. And then that they die by such a heinous fucking because unless they get shot right in the head, you don't die when you get shot immediately. No. That is a slow, agonizing fucking death. Right. You know, I hate assumptions. I hate when people have assumptions of me. Like, you automatically assume something when you see them. But I'll just ask them about it. Mm-hmm. Like, that gets on my nerves. And I know you probably feel what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I really am. I'm gonna tell you. Like, you remember. Like, you saw what happened. Literally. When? When you're, when you're um, a sexy, handsome, chiseled. Adonis. Adonis. Caramel, skin and male of all men, manly men. Rico like Suave. seriously, like when you walk in the Fabio, door. Black Fabio. Yes. Like, oh, just everything. People are mad as soon as you might what you you take play into take play into drugs or something. Or you're a drug dealer or something like that. I know what you're talking about. Like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and they also assumed about me. So we walking outside. And this guy walked walk, um, down, walk down the street, walked past me, and said, yo, got that dog food for you. I said, what? No, you disgusting. Like, really, because she's Caucasian, she got the, and I'm black, and she got to be in take place and dog food. You don't see our kids right here? Literally, and that's the thing, too. Our kids are literally right fucking here, man. And we're going into our fucking, like, car. Like, what the fuck, man? And then on top of that, I didn't even know what dog food was. To a couple years ago. This now this is funny. I'm standing outside my job, smoking a cigarette, talking to my um, co-worker, and this girl come up, Caucasian girl comes up and looked at look at me and said, Hey, you got them dog food? I'm like, dog food? No, nah, but the grocery store right there, I'm pretty sure they got dog food. My co-worker looked at me, bust out laughing. I'm like, what? Like, no, she don't want no dog food, she wants some dog food, dope boy. I'm like, what? I'm like, well, that's what they call that shit? <laughs> yeah, so I'm done. I was done for today. And but then for but for you for people to just do that, this is all the assume assumptions? Assumptions never give you nothing. Assumptions and eyes is like an asshole. Everybody have one. Hate them. That's a good analogy. Hate them. Just ask questions. Mm-hmm. Just another person. Don't assume. Like, don't assume what we'll, don't assume what we'll, what we'll, we might take part in our at at the curricular activities. Yeah, because I'm white and you're black, we're, we're definitely fucking dope heads. Yeah, for real. You assume me. Like I love when the police assume by me, cause they love. I love when the police get behind me when I'm driving my car. I'm smiling and laughing like, oh, they better be so pissed when they're running my you name. You need to get those special plates I was telling you to get. When they, when they run, run my name and they see like, this dude have nothing. He's a double college degree grad and everything. Nothing. Not even nothing. Oh, he got some, oh, wow, speeding ticket from years ago. Oh, my gosh, nothing. Nothing. Not just smile when they speed, when they ride, ride off around me and speeding off. Cause they pissed. Can't do nothing. Can't get you can't get this and I'm doing the speed limit. <laughs> can't get this. Nah, not me. I know, I know. I'm stupid, I know. Not stupid. I know. I'm stupid. Uh so um I'm really about to I'm really about to really get this OnlyFan page popping. I really hope people I hope y'all really watch it. So I can show all my twenty pack. You got the whole fucking bar um, right there. No, but that's a, that is the but the only thing about that if I was to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean I, I joke about doing it, but seriously though, if I was to do it, it would be a lot of gay dudes watching that. Of course. Like and I was That wouldn't make you gay. I know, but I was telling my friend, if I was to do that, oh, I'm charging them fifty dollars a picture. Like, I'm charging you fifty a picture. If you want if you want a video, that's a hundred. I'm charging you. I'm charging you five. I'm charging you fifty-five subscription. Uh, I only thing. Only thing I won't do is take nothing to my angle. But than that, I do what you want me to do. Seriously, why not? Why not? Sure, I'm. You paying for it? 
I'm just not sticking nothing in my butt. Uh uh. No, sir. Uh oh. We are not finna go down our road. That is an ex. Uh huh. I do not need. That's one thing I need. For me to be doing that and, and using her deal, though, she just walked in the room and seen me doing that, and now she's gonna try to plague me. Now, you. Yeah, now she. Peg. Yeah, peg me. Where you want to Now she's trying to fuck me, girl. No. See, we ain't going down those roads. We ain't finna ask those questions. We ain't finna find out. We ain't, we ain't finna find out none of that stuff. We ain't finna find out. Because we're the fuck the part about like, what the fuck? What the like, like, you like that? Like, oh, what the fuck? Uh uh. Uh uh. Like, you're not gonna put my legs in the air. Uh uh. Like, you're not gonna. In the be, Amazon position? Yeah, you like, you not gonna be hitting me with like, like some real long strokes and stuff, trying to make love to me. Uh -uh. <laughs> like, seriously. I'm gonna be crushing, like, goddamn. And I got some my game of her strokes is better than my strokes. I mean, Damn. like, 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 it, 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 that'd be too much. Too much. So I don't need that. Now nah, I gotta go to the gym and work out more. I'm gonna make sure I get this work out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work out your gym. I don't know. We were about to find out. I'm about to, about to find out. I don't yeah. know why I just pictured you like standing there like this with your dick out trying to look something. <laughs> uh huh. Like, right, we gonna get you right. Shit, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna outstroke me. Uh. Come in there, come in your room, get the door open with a 40. <laughs> my boots, my boots on, and a cowboy hat. I'm the man in this relationship, bitch. Uh huh. Lay that ass down, shit. And I ain't sticking it for you. I'm gonna stick it straight in your butt. I'm gonna show you how you really get to it. Try. Yes. No lube. No lube. Never no lube. Always dry. Always dry. You gonna feel this. You oh, gonna feel this. Bit. You gonna feel this while we cover TMI. What? I don't have no idea what to name my man. Too much information. I know, I know why I'm seeing beast dance with them. <laughs> what? What? Young money, cash money, baby. Yeah, I know what that stands for. That's just funny. So I don't look. I don't speak. I don't speak all that hippity hop. So hippity hop, hippity hop. Yeah, I don't speak. I don't speak that slang. Actually, I went to school. Judy. Say Judy Art. Yeah, I went there for that too. Julia. I went there too. I went there for a day. Okay, I digress. Um, yeah. It's been pretty warm for November. It really has. It really has. <laughs> it's been so warm for November. It's been so. Hey, people outside of Ohio, do y'all got Bob Evans? Everywhere got Bob Evans. Bob Evans is just shit. You're not fucking American if you don't like Bob Evans. Bob Evans is the fucking serious one. Just like Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. KFC is good too. KFC is trash. Compared to Popeye's. KFC is trash. Chick fil A is trash. The best chicken is the gas station. The gas, I'm saying gas station. The gas station chicken. It really yeah. is. And that's an Ohio thing. You know that, right? Eating food at gas stations. That's like really a fucking like Ohio and Michigan thing. Probably so. Probably so, so. It really is. They don't have that shit down south, really. You don't go to the gas station to get your food. Like, people literally go to the gas stations. There's literally restaurants in our gas stations. Almost every single one of them. Yeah. Even the little corner store will literally sell, like, wing dings and JoJo's. Mm -hmm. That's like the, and we eat, um, what, it's always corned beef and gyros. That's the Cleveland thing. Mm-hmm. Oh. We eat a lot of ethnic food in Cleveland. Right. You know, all that food, what I just named corned beef and gyros, we eat a lot of ethnic food. That's not American food. That's Jewish food and Greek food. Mm. And pierogies. That's a Cleveland thing. So, what Wonder Girl there? DC. I was in Wonder Girl DC. Wonder Girls, Wonder Girl, just come to the CW. She can on series. So. And it's based on, and it's based on the Brazilian one, one, one girl, one woman. What do you want to call it? Okay. Um, may you please read this, please? I don't want to. Please. Well. Uh, yeah. <sighs> the CW is developing a Wonder Girl series based on Yara Flor. 
the Brazilian Amazon who will soon take center stage as part of DC's future state as the new Wonder Woman. According to Deadline, the show will center on Flor, a Latina dreamer who was born of an Amazonian warrior and a Brazilian river god, learns that she is a, that she is Wonder Girl, and with her newfound power, must fight the evil forces that would seek to destroy the world. Dalen Rodriguez will serve as executive producer and co-showrunner along with Berlanti Productions. Berlanti Productions, Greg Berlanti. Sarah Schechter and David Madden. It's, all, it's also worth noting the series will exist within the Arrowverse, recently dubbed the CWverse. It's always the Arrowverse, bitch. They haven't, they haven't changed the Arrowverse recently. Fuck you, it, it's always the Arrowverse. He started that shit. How dare you? Mm-hmm. Yara does have some connection to the Amazons. Don't disrespect Oliver like that. Like, that really just pissed me off what I just read. It was fun with that. Because, that, that actually did piss me off. Because they are trying, they are trying so hard to make it sound so diverse back on the C D verse. So we want to sound like a man shoving this shit thing. That's what that's the only conclusion I can come to when it comes to that. I don't think it's that. I think it's that because Arrow ver- Arrow is not no more. No, I really think it's because it gives a male about being yeah. male. Because the arrow's not on R, it doesn't matter. He's still in the universe because it's he's the a, arrow because universe. he's technically the fucking specter. He is. He's Arrow because of Arrow. We got the Flash. We got Legends. We got everything. We got everything. Supergirl. Everything. Everything. Everything that is superhero related. On the CW is because of Oliver. Arrow. Don't fucking ever disrespect, disrespect him like, like that. And then, okay, let me talk about this. This new one to come on. Okay. My thing is this. Why? Does it matter? Her brain. Why is that the first thing they have to mention is her fucking race? Just like, why? Like, why does it matter? Just like the blue black Tim Drake. Why does it matter that these characters have to be identified by a race first before it being a character? And then why is it a bad thing if you cast a white person in the role? And. Like I don't look at these characters by their race. Isn't that racism? That's technically is. I don't look at. I don't look this as race. I don't look at these characters by their race. Why can't? Why can't she just be a regular regular girl? Why? And, and when I'm saying regular girl, why does it matter when I'm saying regular girl? I mean, what I'm saying is regular girl is. Don't make it image on the person's race. Like so, what she presented? Do I have to know that she was she's a definitely a Brazilian? But why? Why can't she just be Brazilian? I just coming to Rose, that's a Brazilian actress playing this character. Like, why can't it be like that? Like, why you gotta make it? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, y'all made so much, like, same with the black, um, new Batwoman. Like, why couldn't she just be still Katie Kane? Why does she gotta be a new black, be a new black character and be, her race gotta be centerfold? Why couldn't she just be Katie Kane? Why? Why? It could still work. I will fuck it. I don't care. I like comic books. We all, real, real fans love to watch the shit. So we were still watching you giving me some good stories. And say what you want. As a fucking white woman, like, I don't care. I'm starting to like uh, legitimately feel like it's wrong to be white now. Like, we're automatically assumed to be racist. It's just like, it's okay to talk shit about white people right now. And, like... I they get want that to... they want racial diversity, and that's cool and great and everything. But it's like it's like we're on a trend to where, in as far as in media, like films and whatnot, like there's not they're just basically trying to slowly like eliminate white people as like doing anything now. Yeah, do you get, what I'm, want, do you get yeah, what I'm saying? They want you to feel bad from the past. They want me to wear my they want me to wear my white guilt. Yes. That's what they want me to have. But you have nothing to do with that. I have no guilt for anything. I've never done shit. And then on top of that, your family is not even from here. I can literally prove that too. So, so like, why would you. so why would you even have any guilt for what slavery I did have done? Why would I you don't. have any why would you why would you have any guilt for buying it when your family is not even from here? I've never enslaved or done anything to a black person, so I have no guilt about that. Like, I, I feel know. bad it happened, and I think it's awful and everything like that. But I personally, I don't feel responsible for that in any way. No. I do not. I didn't do shit. 
Yeah. At all. Like, my daughter, it looks half is mixed and whatnot, but like at the end of the day, like, you know, little girls and boys need to look, have characters to look up that look like them. You know, there are lots of little white boys and girls too. There's lots of mixed people. That's one group of people that's really not represented is racially, is biracial people. Because, oh, they still got that white in them right now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Biracial <coughs> people have a harder identity of a black person and a white person. Because I've heard hella mixed people say that they always grew up hearing say that they weren't black enough or they weren't white enough, depending on the situation. And that's gotta be fucked up to have to grow up like that. Like, my son is already having problems with identifying that he's black because of his skin tone. Like, he doesn't realize the deeper, the, the, the meaning behind that yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he don't. I'm still trying to work with I try, I'm working on him with that, too. So, let me ask you this. That's... You get me a rich prostitute. The fuck? Shit. Fuck that. That's when we go to the bunny ranch. You're not going ever to the bunny ranch. I'm definitely going to the bunny ranch. No, you're not. I'm definitely no, you're going not. to the bunny ranch. Definitely going no, to the bunny ranch. Definitely going to the bunny no, ranch. Fuck, you're not. Definitely going to the bunny ranch. I swear to God, if I ever catch you in the bunny ranch, I will call the scene. Okay, you call the scene. Never seen. Call the scene. But don't, but don't, don't bring you, don't bring your Lord and Savior. And that's why English is hard, folks. What? I will cause a scene that you have never seen. Okay. You get it right because you speak English. Yeah. But to somebody who's foreign, I literally just said two different words with two different meanings that sound exactly the same. Well, I hope you got I hope you got your stuff all mouthed out because I already predetermined that we want definitely want to find out. I'll be out. I'll go to jail. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'm okay. I'm like I'm going to go to jail, Tyrus. And then and then I'm gonna say yeah, I'm gonna bail you out. Okay, you can do that, but I'm still going to jail. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bail you out one time. Leave one time. Leave. You on the plane? You know that's gonna happen, right? Yeah. That's I'm still going. I'm gonna go fucking insane. I'm still gonna go. I'm still gonna be right down there, right to the plane. Well, single rest, you like shit. That damn. The world, we're gonna bail you out. Uh, no, back to back to the buddy ranch. That's gonna be fun. Gonna be some good times. How much does it cost to be go to the buddy ranch? How much is it like? Is it goes? Do you pay by the hour or you or you pay by just walking in the door? You know, you can't. You, you know, you fucking watch the fucking documentary on HBO. Uh, I know. I never, but I never caught the time. How they it pay. was a lot. I, I remember. It was a lot. I want, but I want to take pan. I remember you paid by the service. What you wanted is how much it costs. You know, Lamar Odom, fucking OD at the Bunny Ranch mm-hmm. after being there for like three days straight. I'm OD already, old guy. Definitely OD. He OD'd off coke and fucking penis pills. Uh huh. Sorry, somebody gonna OD off this nut. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody's walking out that bitch pregnant. Somebody is. That's what I'm buying me. I'm okay, buying now me. you're doing too much. I'm at least buying. I'm, I'm at least going to at least get like 15 females I could be at the bedroom right now. I'm making sure at least one of them is getting pregnant. One, one of y'all is coming home. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. That would be, be funny as hell. I actually bet somebody should try that too. Sure I bet somebody tried that. Like literally. They literally try to go in there and probably try to put a hole in the condom for them got to do it. I mean if you don't know, they are having sex at the bunny ranch. If you don't know about the bunny ranch. If you don't know what the bunny ranch is, it's legal it's a legal whorehouse. So if you don't know that then you would then you would then you need to catch it to the joke. Or, yeah, you need to go watch HBO from about twenty years ago. Or was it skin to maps? No, Skin to Max was those softball porn videos. Right? Mm hmm. I missed that shit. I miss watching Skin to Max as a 16 year old kid growing up. Sneaking to watch the TV shows. Just waiting for BT Uncut to come on at 3. 
Oh my God! Watching it, um, watching um the E two hundred, no, not E two right with um, um, yeah, you know, what was the show that the girls used to go and travel and used to go to different places? You'd be at the club when I on E Network. Party, um. No, it was not party something. I know one of the first, or I forgot the first host name, but I know the second one was Book Burke. I used to love watching that stuff. Man, being a, being a teenager was you. Was that called Party on E? No. 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 Like, I don't know what these kids really watch today. Like, what the fuck do y'all be watching? It's like, because, shit, we, we had some shit. We were watching some shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Especially the, um... Especially undressed that oh my god the reality show undressed on MTV. I remember undressed. Wow, you just brought back a memory. That was the shit. Like I used to love watching that. That was that. That's what I actually thought college was gonna be for real. And actually for real for real, actually college was like that for real though too. Right, but I really was excited to go to college. Man, watching that show. Man, see like I don't know what y'all kids really watch for real. Y'all watch more TikTok videos and stuff on YouTube and. Or they just, or they're they're lucky enough to where they literally can just go on their phone and watch straight porn. Yeah, something like we that. We couldn't do that. Y'all, y'all go. We literally had to find the shit, and that's only if you had cable. And, and then you had, to, find the you shit. had to be, you had to be weird. Sneaky. Weird I'm trying to buy a flick at the store and shit. You know what? God. In the adult movie section. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't even have video rental stores anymore. Y'all don't. Y'all don't know the excitement of like going in and, to blockbuster and, and shit. looking at all the titles and then yeah. sometimes you might get some popcorn and some candy. Might get a game. Might get a game. Like hell yeah, we go we go blockbuster. Get a game too. We're going to blockbuster tonight. Man, Everybody got their blockbuster card. Uh huh. But then we then we start realizing how fucking expensive blockbuster. And we started realizing, oh no, I always used Hollywood video. They were way cheaper. And then we started, everybody started start doing the one thing that will happen when we get out of the video stores. Start bringing the shit back. Like, I'll fuck it. I'll take it back tomorrow. Not only that, tomorrow I'll come every, three weeks later. So I'll fuck that, it out. The internet came. Yeah. The internet really came and took over everything. Like, it's cool being our age. We've literally watched the evolution of all this technology that y'all got. I remember when the coolest fucking phone was a razor. It was this ultra thin. No, a sidekick. Sidekick too. It was a sidekick. It was a razor. Yeah. Razor because it was like a super thin flip phone. You had like I a phone that like that. slid no, no, up with a keyboard. No, fuck that. No, fuck that. I remember the cool thing was a fucking pager. Oh yeah, I remember the pagers. And then and then Walkman. when they made, and, then, and then when they made that bullshit that was two way, like it was like what the fuck are we did two way? So you could text. That's all that was. Cell phones even made that. We had that. Hmm. Wait, no, cell phones was out, but you had those big-ass, donkey-ass phones and shit. And fucking that Nokias these... that literally the battery would last on these bitches, like, a week. Like no you, fucking lie. Like, you're paying, like, $30 for 30 minutes and shit. You don't even, you don't even, that's only for emergencies only when you walk at the house. Yeah, you didn't call anybody in le- before nine. No, that wasn't even yet. Was yeah, it wasn't, wasn't even that yet. yet. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about back in the 90s and shit. Oh, yeah, the early well, 90s. Do you, yeah. Did you ever know anybody that had one of those big-ass one phones My in mother. the car? And big ass cell phone. Yeah, it was, it was like it literally was bigger than a house phone. The old school, the old school flip phone. I miss those. And then them little kids came out when you come talking to. You had it. Oh, my man's just free after nine, and then all you had to get the um have the my my fave five from T Mobile. That was the shit. You yeah. could call your the five people you called the most for fucking free. That was the shit. Yeah, you had the twerk. Then when they, everybody had when Boost Mobile came out with twerk. Hey man, did you ever kick anybody out of your Fave Five? No, not really picked this one. Don't remember. Boost, you had chirp. Remember yeah. chirp? Yeah, uh huh. Where everybody, you at? Everybody was chirping. Oh, you had man. DJ Cowed in the commercial? I, I missed all that shit. These kids don't know. You guys don't know, like, the phone, them? how cool these phones are nowadays compared to what we had when we were at the church. Spoiled. That's fuck. Seriously, Our games that we played when we were kids were on fucking floppy disks on computers, okay? You never played Oregon Trail, motherfucker? What the fuck are you talking about? I never played that game. Oh, you didn't the forehead. Nah, shit. And then it was like, I remember when Sega Genesis came, not Sega Genesis, um, the Dreamcast came out and that was the first CD Second. game. Second, yeah, you're right. No, nah, well, not really, because Sega CD was first and there was another one that took before that. Never had, never had a Sega CD, always wanted one. Had a Sega, had a Nintendo. But the Dreamcast, the Sega Dreamcast, was like the first yeah. big yeah, one yeah. that really kicked off all this advanced gaming. And then, like, Xbox came out. 
the original green Xbox, and then you had the PlayStation, and that's that took over. Damn. Hey, your kids went for you. That's fuck. We had Walkmans. We had to literally walk around with a CD player. And mm-hmm. God forbid your Take fucking care. batteries die while you're out. Tape players or something. And if you lose the back of the thing, you have to put a piece of duct tape over it so the batteries don't fall out. And then, like, one of your headphones stops working eventually. But well, we played outside. I actually had real friends growing up playing with them, too. Yeah, we didn't need to have shit like that to do when we were kids. I literally went outside and I was gone. Yeah. I didn't need to have anything to do. I found shit to do. Mm-hmm. I found people to do. And I came right home when I was fucking supposed to. When the street lights came on. That was like the golden rule when those street lights come on. It's time to get your ass in the house. I didn't have that rule. You didn't? No. Oh, look you. No, I didn't have that rule. Well, I mean, I did, but sometimes I still played outside at night. No, I, I never had that rule. You gotta be in his house. I mean, one, one mainly because I was always, I was always in his house by that time when I was fishing when I was a kid, anyway, because the shows I wanted to watch. And then on top of when I got to high school, it that's was kinda, another topic. It was kind of hard not for me to be on that rule when I'm in high school when I got out of practice at nine thirty. Y'all do not have the pleasure of Nickelodeon. You yeah. know, I don't got all that. Keenan and Cal. Keep going with me, Tyrus. I mean, you're all. Uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah, I loved all the game shows with my shit. Double Dare. Um, it was what the, would you do? What would you do? Um, that Guts. Guts. That one show where they had to guess what the person did. What would you do? Oh, yeah, that is what would no, you do. No, figure it out. Figure it out. What, no, one battle. No, it is. It's figure it out. I know. No, it was another one I was trying to think of. Um, Wild and Crazy Kids. Wild and Crazy Kids was one. Yeah, y'all. Everything was extreme in the 90s. Like, yeah, y'all. We had skateboarding and rollerblading y'all, y'all and scooters. Rocket Power. Y'all rocket Power. Shit. Tony Hawk was that fucking dude in the 90s. Especially again on Friday night, Disney was always coming out with a new Disney original movie. So you want so you know you so you know you want to watch that shit. Right. See y'all kids don't know what y'all missing. Y'all kids are spoiled. Y'all spoiled. A spoiled sale. The simple pleasure of having a, a TV movie to watch. It was awesome and everybody talked about it at school because we all watched it. But I would like to thank everybody for listening to me talk for these past 25 minutes. Been a nice little trip down memory lane. It's been 25 minutes. That's all. I don't fun. care what I don't care what nobody say. If, if it's ain't long 25 minutes, your clock is broken. You just you can't read or you can't spell. Anyway, I'm your real dyslexic. Peace. Peace. And make sure if you want to have a bite like this, make sure you drink nothing but course like.